Okay folks, I'm reviewing the Anchor PowerCore 10,000 and it has a 10,000 M8H and it claims to be um, 150 grams in weight. Uh, this is the box, it says Anchor on the front. Um, there's no other writing around the sides here. There's a load of uh, stuff here. There's a... Uh, it says PowerCore 10,000 uh, model A1263 made in China as they all are uh, sternal battery, portable charger uh, sort of serial number there um, some really small writing there um, this device can be uh, some kind of rule, um, information about it um, there, which I can't read because it's so small. Maybe you can. Um, has a service number there as well. Yeah, so that's the uh, basically that's just the box. So let's get it open, shall we? Okay, I've just not opened the box here, and um, it says America's leading USB charging brand, faster charging with industry leading technology. 20 plus million happy users and counting. Uh, thanks for choosing Anchor. It says there. Okay. So this is the, the unit, I guess. It's wrapped up in uh, plastic. Turn it out. Put that. Um, so this is the unit. It's uh, got the USB charging point there. And it's got one USB outlet for charging. I do apologise for my um, muddy hands. I've just been running, by the way. And I just realised my hands are covered in mud. Um, so I do apologise for that. <laughs> They're not always like that. Anyway. So uh, that's the, the USB uh, output for when you're using the device for charging. Like your phone or whatever you're charging. Your GoPro. Or whatever it is, and that is, yeah, and that, as I said, that's the input to charge. Um, so there's nothing that's all right. Oh, here's the looks like the power switch here. Um, there's a load of stuff in the back there, I can't really read, it's very small, right? And I don't know if you can see that on there. Um, and it's got anchor written there, and it's got four what looks like four LED. Um, lights there which probably tell you how much power is left or how much it's charged um, yeah so this should we uh, have a look what else is in the box shall we so uh, okay so comes in the box now. so you got a little uh, I guess a little carrying case um, let's put it in so it goes in like that and then you've got your USB lead here. You don't, it doesn't come with a plug, but most people have some way of charging up their, um, like a, some form of USB uh, style plug or socket or whatever. Or you can plug it into a computer. Or... But this charges up, apparently, this charges up. Um, let me have a read. Uh... Yeah, this this has a high speed um, recharging capacity. So I think if um, you've got a plug that has over two amps USB charging, it will charge up in around four hours. I think I believe it said. Um, yeah, and how I've just bought a plug as well like that. So um, we'll test that out with that as well. So uh, what else have we got here? We got um, a load of instructions. Um, I'll slowly show you. You can pause it at any time. Um, to get to give your power core the safest, fast, safest, fastest charge. Um, obviously, that's in f another language there. So if I look on the other side, it might be in English. Okay, that is not in English. Okay, maybe there's some English here somewhere. Uh, Okay, this, obviously this is just the top bit that's in English. Um, 
so it can input up to 2 amps according to this so when you're recharging it you can um, recharge it with a USB that's got 2 amps so I've got a 2.1 amp one so that'll be alright output your maximum output is 2.4 amps so you can charge stuff fast as well um, according to this okay according to this in the manual it says it's 180 grams on the advert for the Amazon advert it's saying it's 150 so basically I've been misled again I mean it's either 150 or 180 but this according to this manual it says 180 so the Amazon ad is alive that's correct we'll check that out in a bit um, use original certified cables do not expose to liquids do not disassemble avoid dropping avoid extreme temperatures 18 months limited warranty so yeah I'll be expecting some of my money back because that's, that's obviously a blatant lie saying it's 150 uh, grams when it's 180 we're waiting a bit okay so uh, using your power cord so battery use and recharge at least once every four months check power level charge your phone or tablet no lightning no lightning cable included not sure what that means maybe that's the fast charge cable okay so uh, got another bit of paper here not happy not really not when you said it was 150 grams and it's 180 a friendly customer team okay it's got a friendly customer team or whoever's put the advert up anyway yeah, I'll be expecting some kind of refund for that okay let's go and weigh it shall we okay folks let's uh let's weigh it see how much it weighs 179 grams I got oh well, I'm going to be making the complaint. That's um, false advertising because it says 150 in the advert. So, yeah, not happy with that. I was expecting it to be 150 grams. Um, so, yeah, not too pleased about that. Because that is quite a bit of difference, actually, when you're hiking. So, um, yeah, now it's time to, um, I think, we're uh, charge it up and see how it goes. Plug. Okay, it's got a little bit of charge in there already, just press the button and let's uh, plug it into the into the 2.4 amp one so it should in theory charge this uh, power pack in four hours. So switch it on. Okay, that's switched on. Power pack on, now it's charging. Going up, so let's come back here in four hours to see if it's charged. But in the 2.4 amp one into the battery pack that's supposed to charge with the over, I think just over two amps, I can't remember now. But this is a 2.4 amp output. Let's have a look what we're getting. So we're getting, I don't know if you can see that, we're getting five. 0.04 volts around 2.12 amps 10.53 watts on the uh, the fast charge outlet the 2.4 amp outlet okay it seems okay okay folks so the um the, my new plug has charged my new um, battery pack it's got the full um, one two three four LED lights lit up so now it's time to see how long it takes how many times it can charge my Nexus 6 phone from being flat to fully charged let's check that out so now my um, phone needs charging, so I'm going to test out my um, new battery pack. Um, see how many times it can charge it from fully empty. 
Um, these are in ideal conditions though, they're inside in a warm house so obviously it'd be different if I'm outside in the cold, cold weather um, depending on the time of year of course your battery doesn't last as long in the cold as it does in the warm so um, plug that in there plug that in here and it seems that it switches itself on when you plug it in ok so let's see how many times I can charge up my um, my phone this is the first time ok folks and now for the um, second time of using the battery bank to fully charge my phone let's see if it does that for a second time so I've got to plug it in there and then <coughs> plug it in here and I've got three LEDs left and it's starting to charge from fully empty and let's see if it fully recharges it again this is the second time I'm trying okay folks so my battery's charged the phone fully for um, a second time and that's I've, I've used it and it's discharged um, I'm going to charge it again see if it fully charge it again for a third time with my uh, new battery pack so I plug that in that in there. Um, and we are on two LED lights now and it's starting to charge so let's see if that fully charges again for a third time well hi folks well the third time we're trying to charge fully charge my Nexus 6P um, smartphone it's um it's run out of power and let's see how much it charged it up on the third time because um it's not been on for very long so it's not even charged it up a third time not impressed under optical optimum optimum conditions um, inside a warm house not outside in the cold under the best conditions it's not even managed to charge it three times and let's have a look it charged it to two times and on the third time it, it fully charged it two times and on the um, third time I don't know if you can see that, turn that down a bit. And on the third time, it's only charged it to 36%. 36%. So, um, it's, it's over 150 grams. It's, um, it, weigh, it weighs more than it says in the item description. I think it was 183 grams. I've got it written down somewhere. I've weighed it out before, as I said. Um, it only charges the um, the Nexus 6P um, two full times fully, and then a third time at 36%. Um, Would I recommend it? It's okay, but it's definitely not that. It's not. It's not a great charger. I have to say, it's it's. Um, it's okay, but I wouldn't say it's amazing. Okay, folks, I'm testing out my uh, Anchor Power Pack now with the RAV Power 24 Watt Free Port Outdoors Charger. Um, at the moment, it's getting um, 0.33 amp power, 1.47 watt, and 4.65 volts, and um, it's in the clouds, cloudy weather at the moment. It is, um, let's see what time of day it is. It is the 14th of April. No, sorry, is it April? Yeah, the 14th of April. And um, so that's the power I'm getting with in a cloudy day in the uh, south of England. South, southeast of England, yeah. I'll see how long it uh, takes to charge. I'm timing it on my watch. Um, and a plug at 2.4 amps or 2.1 amps, it's supposed to take four hours, this uh, power pack. Let's see how fast this uh, solar does it. Getting uh, over one amp on here. And, uh, would the sun just come out? 
Um, the cat's gone down to 90. It's gonna be cloudy again, but it seems to be night. Oh, over one amp there. Um, so it seems to be about one amp over, just over one amp on a summer's day. It's probably about. Um, not sure how hot it is. It's not too hot. It's uh, got more sunny now. Uh, we're getting um, 1.02 amps, 5.04 watts, um, 4.95 volts. Um, this charger can suck up uh, 2.4 amps, I believe. I mean, the battery. Charging this battery. So that's at uh, 102 amps. And it's getting warmer. Yeah, sticking at 102 amps at the moment. Sun's fully out. It is 11.31 in the morning. And it's 14th of April. 2018. Now it doesn't seem to be going over 1.02 amps. We have 5.07 watts and 4.9 volts. Maybe that's the maximum. Okay, folks. Well, this solar panel has got three USB ports on it, and I thought they were all uh, 2.4 watts or 2.1. Sorry, 2.4 amps or 2. Point, or 2.1 amps. Um, it looks like one isn't, and um, the other two are more stronger. Now, now I've just changed the uh, USB socket for my uh, charging my um, battery, and now I'm getting 5.1 volts, 1.7 or 1.81 amps, and 9.21 watts. Um, and it is not a really hot day, it's April, like I said, April the 14th, um, 11.33 in the morning. The sun's clear at the moment, no clouds. So that's pretty good, that's almost as good as the wall socket. Um, almost as good as the wall socket, um, but um, I'm sure like by the time it's uh, May, that should go right up to 2 amps, I would have thought. I mean, the ampage is what you want really for the speed it's going to charge at. Um, the higher the ampage, the faster it's going to charge. And the maximum is uh, for this battery it takes is uh, 2.4 amps, I think. So we're at 1.82 amps. And on the wall socket, I get about, to be honest, 1.1 amp, I think. Not one, not 2.4 amps. So um, yeah, that's pretty good. That will probably charge in maybe five hours. We'll see. I'm, I'm, well folks, after about six hours uh, my battery, about six hours I'd say, my battery is fully charged. Six, six hours? Yeah, so about six hours in spring sun my battery is fully charged from being flat, so that's pretty cool.